Welcome to Inside Science TV. When the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament, March Madness, kicks off, many fans will try to predict the winning team by filling out tournament brackets. Now, mathematician Tim Chartier has developed a system that can beat most bracket predictions. We beat 97% of the over 5 million brackets submitted to the ESPN Challenge. Unlike most of the rest of us. The way I pick my ba brackets is really just kind of guessing. With more than 60 games in the tournament and two possible outcomes for each game, there is a huge number of different ways to fill out a bracket. To do well in bracketology, you need to know how teams will do earlier. It's often those teams that are very difficult to predict in those games that often our methods are picking up. The computer-assisted method takes into account such things as a team's win-loss record, the difficulty of its regular season, and its momentum. Chartier then splits up the entire NCAA regular season schedule into different segments. He chose four this year and decided the games in the early part of this season were not as important as those at the end of the season in predicting the outcome of the tournament. A computer algorithm then generates the top 10 teams. And so Kentucky, with today's data, is predicted to win the NCAA tournament. This method to predict winners isn't a perfect slam dunk, but it can do a lot better than most techniques. In the past, I've not done very well. Using math to help predict an almost unpredictable tournament. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Two new science stories every week. Powered by the American Institute of Physics.